Greetings friends, Rose here from Walk in the Woods LLC, back as promised to take you through a journal flip. So let's get started. Move my coffee cup out of the way and let's get let's get this positioned. I'm in my in my dining area today because uh, well, my studio is trashed and the light is much better out here. And I was thinking of going outdoors, however, it looks like the sky could spit. But anyway, here is uh, the first art journal we're going to flip through, and the name of this art journal is Connections. It is a journal from 2012. Um, I started out the page, the, the journal itself, very simply using the theme Connections and taking a look at words that jump out at me as having some relevance to what connections mean in my life, what the connections are in my life, and what connections I wish to nurture in my life, and as well as, well as connections I needed to be aware of in my life, those connections that are sometimes a little more challenging than we might otherwise choose. But art journaling for me is, is a way of capturing <clears throat> excuse me what's going on in my life day to day it's a way for me to explore not just what's going on in the external aspect of my life but also in my internal life it's a way for me to capture places I've been people I've been with and the relevancy and the value that those experiences have added how they nourish me and how they sustain me and potentially how they deplete me. It's a way for me to look within in a form of reflection both backwards and forward in life. It's a way for me to explore and see uh, the patterns that emerge in terms of color and what those colors mean to me. It's a way for me to explore the imagery that has relevance uh, so that I can, as this page sort of uh, suggests, that I can dive deeper into what's important and what's of value in my life. It's a way, again, to do meditative work. And for me, doodling is powerful meditation, and especially when exploring things that are perhaps a little more challenging. Art journaling for me has really opened up um, an aspect of medicine, of holistic medicine, that adds such value to me in my life in determining, you know, what's important to me, who I am, what I'm doing, what sustains me and nourishes me, and, and keeps me going in a positive way. I have to pause to give thanks to Effie Wild for really helping me make art journaling um, a part of a daily practice. And you can learn more about Effie Wild and the wonderful online classes that she teaches at EffieTheWild.com. But it was through some of her classes that I was able to uh, really, as I, as I said, make the wrong way, make art journaling a part of my everyday life. And art journaling for me has become a daily practice, one that I can't even imagine um, not doing. Uh, even if my efforts for art journaling are nothing more than a quick doodle or a line or a splash of color, uh, something, anything, every single day, something goes into my art journals. And it really is a way for me to explore and examine what's important to me, as I said, but in terms of what's going on in my mind, what's going on with my will, what's going on in my heart, 
and what's going on with me physically in the world, both um, my personal physicality as well as my environment and where all those things are taking me. And certainly my spiritual wellness. Uh, art journaling really is for me, in most regards, a, a spiritual practice. As I said, it's a way for me to explore the parts of myself that uh, might otherwise remain a mystery. And it offers me a way to go back and very quickly look at colors and patterns and you know symbols that show up, words that show up time and again, the trends and the patterns, so that I'm able to really create a relationship with those things that repeat and, and find a way that makes them easy to see to recognize, to then in turn really honor and work with in a way that helps me evolve and grow and heal. Art journaling for me has become something that I really can't imagine not doing on a daily basis. And aside from all the beautiful sort of growth and self healing and wellness practice that it offers. It gives me that beautiful creative outlet even when I don't have anything of, of grand significance to explore. Uh, choosing themes as I'm actually doing this month and as I was doing actually this would have been May 2012 when I first practiced 29 Faces in May with Martha Vallea Arts uh, she does, I believe, twice a year, 29 faces in a month. And it's, again, a fun way to explore a, a, a specific theme where you're allowed to, well, where I figure I'm allowed to free myself up from exploring any other symbolism, not, of course, that I don't throw their imagery in, but looking at just faces and drawing different faces and painting different faces. So art journaling has so many possibilities. Uh, playing with new techniques, with new mediums, uh, and new styles, and really just having a lot of fun. Art journaling for me is, again, something I just can't imagine not doing. So with the closing pages, the closing spread of this particular journal, one month in the year 2012, like any chapter in our lives or any verse in our lives, any sentence in our lives, it's not just about what was and what is, but also about considering what's next. And art journaling can help us ask those questions as well. So there's the first art journal flip. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it added some value, maybe some inspiration and you know the opportunity for you to maybe begin journaling in a new, a different way. And I'll do my best to remember to talk about that in one of the upcoming um, vlogs. So take care, be well, be inspired by nature. Peace.